Hello my family, the latest episode of Archetypes is finally out and Megan speaks to the wife of the Canadian Prime Minister, Sophie Trudeau. Yes, yes, yes and yes, Megan is friends with the wife of the Canadian Prime Minister, First Lady Sophie Trudeau. Those are Megan's circle of friends. Yes, Megan has very, very good and powerful friends. And also Pamela Adlon and Sam J. Now, in this role, an enlightening episode, Megan unveils the roles of good wife, bad wife, good mom, bad mom, and explores the judgments behind them. In this candid and highly entertaining chats with First Lady of Canada, Sophie Trudeau, as well as Pamela Adlon and Sam J. Megan delves into the pressures of what it means to be a partner and a parent in this modern age. The episode also features authors Dr. Shefali Sabari and Angela Gabes. My family, once again, I would like to ask you of one thing. Kindly tune in to Arch Tapes and just watch this latest episode. Tune in and listen to this latest episode of Arch Tapes. It is quite, quite very much interesting. My family, whenever Megan talks about her kids, their kids, you know, Archie and Little Bit Diana, it brings me so much great joy and so much happiness to hear Megan speak about their kids, you know, baby Lily and baby Archie. Now, Megan was asked, like, how old are your kids? And she told us something that is very, very special right now. Baby girl, Lily Bitch Diana, is now walking. My family, I'm so happy to hear this. And hear this part where Megan was asked about the age of her kids. And this is what Megan had to say. Oftentimes. And I think it's so interesting to hear your journey of that. Here's the thing. I'm here on the other side of all of that. How old are your kids now? A baby. Lily is just started walking. She's a year and a couple months old. Oh my and God. And Archie's just over three years old. So yeah, they are. Oh, I'm in the thick of it. Yeah. Toddling. So when I was in that world, I was looking for moms that would share with me. I remember going to my first like dance and jingle class with um, my oldest and just not feeling like I fit in at all with the other moms. And, you know, you're you're literally learning as you go. And then, you know, just understanding like, you know, how do you do it? Like I'd want to knock on other mom's doors when they were making breakfast before school. Like h how is it in your home? Like, is it crazy? Like it is in my home? Like that morning rush, like that's what I call oh, no, 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 the more the My family also Megan shares with all of us, you know, what happens in Montecito in her home. What are Megan's early morning with Archie, Prince Harry, Lily Batana? What are they like? My family, it is quite a joy for Megan to share this with all of us. But first things first, my family. You know, if you know someone who is a new mom and you are a mother, kindly give them advice and help them out. I'm sure they will be interested in learning a lot from you. Now, my family, kindly hear what Megan's early mornings at Montecito are like. My family, this is Harry, Megan, Archie, and baby girl Lil Bedana's happily ever after story. And we are all happy to be listening and hearing with so much great joy and happiness about Harry. Megan, Archie, and baby girl, Lily Bedana's happily ever after. My family, this is what Megan had to say. The mornings are, I mean, 
How old are your kids? I know. How old are well, mine now? are all mine are all Older. grown now. They're 25, 22, and 19. Yeah, well, so the morning rush, I'm sure it'll only get more chaotic as they get older. But for me, it's, you know, both monitors on for the kids to hear them always up with Lily, get her downstairs. Yeah. Then a half hour later, Archie's up. Start. I love this. You know, for me, for Megan, it's, you know, both monitors on. For the kids to hear them, Harry and Megan are always listening in on their kids, ensuring that they are safe, they are sound, they sleep well, have a good rest. And I'm loving this. I'm loving this, you know, always up with Lily. So it's clear that Lily Batana keeps Prince Harry and Megan up. And may God bless baby girl Lily Bit Diana. And Mega said that always up with Lily, get her downstairs. Then a half hour later, Archie wakes up. Doing his lunchbox right before he's up while I have her, getting her a little nibble. My husband's helping me get him downstairs and it's I make breakfast for all three of them. It's very important to me. I love doing it. That's um, so sweet. And it just, it, to me, feels like the greatest way to start the morning. My family... What does that tell us about Megan? This tells us that Megan is a proud mom, a very proud mom. And also, Megan is a proud, proud wife, a happy wife and a happy mom. She loves waking up in the morning, making breakfast for Prince Harry, Archie, Lily Batana. And I love to hear this. I love this so, so much. She loves that. And no wonder Megan said that that to me is the greatest way to start the morning. By making breakfast for her family. Her family. Her husband, Harry. Her two kids. Their two kids. Archie and Lily Badana. And Megan also does Bibi Archie's lunchbox. It's important to her. For her to do that. Those moments whereby you take your son to school. I even remember in the Card Magazine article whereby it was said that baby Archie, you know, it's like she knows that when school closes, when it's, you know, the time to go to school, you know, it's like over. Archie knows that Megan is outside the door waiting for Archie. And when the doors are open, Archie runs to her mom, knowing full, fully well that her mom will be waiting for Archie as soon as the, as the school closes. That is Megan's life in Morosito. That is their happily ever after as one loving family. And it brings me so much great joy for Megan to share this important moment in her life with all of us. So thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Spotify, for giving Megan this great platform, Archetypes, to talk about this. Thank you so, so much. Because I just love hearing Megan say this, that, you know, up, start doing, you know, Archie's lunchbox before he's up, before he wakes up. Megan's already ensuring that when her son goes to school, his lunchbox is very much ready. Now, also, while Megan, you know, while I have her, getting her a little nibble, my husband's helped me get him downstairs. Prince Harry is a doting husband to Megan and also a supportive, supportive partner who supports the love of his life. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, the mother of their two kids, Archie and Lily Bettidana. I mean, just rehear this kindly. So the morning rush, I'm sure it'll only get more chaotic as they get older. But for me, it's, you know, both monitors on for the kids to hear them always up with Lily, get her downstairs. Yeah. Then a half hour later, Archie's up, start doing his lunchbox right before he's up while I have her getting her a little nibble. My husband's helping me get him downstairs and it's... Prince Harry helps Megan to get Archie down 
stairs, my family. You know, I remember when I was a kid and time came for me to go to school. And my family, I can tell you one thing. I did not like to wake up early to go to school. That to me was like, I did not like that one bit. And normally when I was taken to school by my mom, I used to cry when I saw her leaving. You know, I used to cry like I used to try and hold on to her because I didn't want to let her go when she left me or dropped me at school. Like that is a memory that I remember very much clearly. I woke up very, very early in the morning and my family, I can say that those moments were definitely tough waking up in the morning. But my family, we all have that experience that we can never, ever forget. And one thing that I loved is that in the evening, she always came to pick me up. I love that 100%, you know, about my mom. And my family, I also love this about baby Archie's life. She lives, he lives a great, great life, a happy life with, you know, his parents, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's quite a joy for me to just, you know, hear about their life in Modesto, California. Kindly, let us all continue. I make breakfast for all three of them. It's very important to me. I love doing it. That's um, so sweet. And it just, it, to me, feels like the greatest way to start the morning. And then it's like, feed all three of the dogs, because we just got another dog. And then get Archie oh out God. the door to school. And, you know... And, but it does. It feels like a whirlwind. Also, I hope daddy's being a good contributor to, like, the time, the kid time, because... Oh, my husband? Oh, he's in, he's great. I mean, I, to do I this know. as a single mom... My family, that is what Megan said, that she also feeds all three of the dogs. You remember, Prince Harry and Megan got a new dog called Mia. So... My family, now Harry and Megan, have three dogs. And they feed, Megan feeds the dogs as well and also gets chocolate and then takes her child to school. That is their life. And also Prince Harry helps Megan so, so much. I love this Mom, so much. I yeah. like bow down to you. How someone does this without a partner to help them through... It is so much work to be a mom when you are just trying to be a conscious parent to raise good, kind human beings. And to do that solo is the yeah. most well, it's, impressive, admirable thing on the planet. I always say that um, the reason why I was able to kind of go through this growth exponentially, like in all the seasons of my show, is because my training is being a single mom of three daughters. First of all, my family, before I continue, I want to send a special shout out to all the single moms out there doing their thing, taking care of their kids, you know, watching their kids, taking care of their children. I want to send a shout out. Much, much respect to each and every single mom out there working so hard to put Food on the table for their kids. I have the utmost respect for moms. And they do a tremendous, tremendous good job. It's not easy. I really doubt that, you know, being a parent can ever be easy. I mean, my family, I'm sure that it takes a huge, huge toll on any single person. I know that I have caused my fair share of, you know, problems to my parents okay but i'm a really really good kid overall i'm a really really good kid and so i help my mom with my bills like the house bills you know i help my mom with it you know pay for electricity and all that stuff so i like to think that i'm a good kid i like to think that i'm a good kid maybe i'll invite my mom so we can have that session in this podcast to discuss if if i'm a really really good son or something one day when that time comes i don't know if she'll be interested to join me in this channel 
but you know i'll ask i'll ask her i'll ask her now my family so i want to say this that i think all the single moms out there for what they do for their remarkable remarkable job for taking care of their kids it can never be easy raising children on your own you know my mom even talked talk to me about you know how she lost her dad you know in the past and she was raised by a single mom after her dad passed away and her mom did everything in her power that is my grandma she did everything in her power to ensure that you know my mom went to school paid the bills that's what she did after my mom's dad that's my grandfather passed away and my family that's why i have the utmost respect for you know single moms things can never be be easy and also thank you to my late grandmother for taking care of my mom and also my family as you all know like i've shared with all of you i also lost my my father and uh, I lost him in 2020, but I don't think I lost him. You know, let's just say that my dad went to heaven. You know, yeah, he did go to heaven. And during that time, it was so, so difficult, you know, a very, very difficult moment. And the support system that my mom showed me, how she supported me during that difficult time, because my dad passed away in November of 2020. My mom supported us throughout the entire time and we've been healing like healing is a process and you heal you know healing is a process and even right now we are continuing to heal but we also miss you know my dad his name was paul each and every single day even when i have my own child one day i would like to call him paul so my family what I'm saying is that being a single mom is not easy. You know, no wonder right now I'm taking the mantle. I'm helping my mom out, pay the bills and all that stuff. So being a single mom is not really easy. But my mom does a great job. And hearing Megan speak, you know, in this podcast, you know, to First Lady of Canada, Sophie Trudeau, Pamela Adlon, Sam Jay, this podcast is quite quite enlightening enlightening and also thank you thank you to all the single moms who do their thing take care of their kids and support their kids it's never easy but they are doing a great great job a great great job thank you also for being for being right there for being there my family so please once again this podcast you know that Megan did today. You know, it brings so much memories. Personally for me, from my personal experiences. Now that, you know, my mom is, you know, also watching out for us and all that stuff. As we continue our studies. My family, this podcast is just reflective of what life is currently for me, my sister my younger sister, my brother. It just, life is just like that. Life, that's, that's life, you know. Things happen in life. Things happen. You suffer losses. Then you heal. Then there are times of joy. There are times of sadness. But one thing is for sure. You know, I thank God for taking care of us, for our family, and for being here for us. Also, I thank Megan for this podcast, you know, because I have so much full praises for the mom that I have who supported us during, you know, a difficult time after we lost, you know, our dad. She was always there for us to comfort us to, and now we have, you know, we have continued to heal. And my family, so let me just end the podcast right there uh, by asking all of you to just go ahead and tune in to Archetypes on Spotify and listen to what Megan had to say in this Archetypes podcast. I believe you'll find it very, very 
enlightening, very, very enlightening, my family, and also full of emotions. And also, as Megan said in the podcast, in the beginning, that you will also laugh. You will also laugh. You also laugh, my family. So with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Kindly allow me to have shared with you my personal personal experience because this podcast today, you know, when talking about, you know, single moms and stuff, it brought me, it reminded me of my late grandmother, how my mom was raised and how, what my mom is doing right now, raising, you know, my sister, my brother. And it means, it means so much. It means so much. And just being able to help around, like paying for electricity bills, the water bills, it means so much to me. It that that means so much to me. That means so much to me, you know. And my family, what do you think about Megan's life in Modesto, California? I loved listening to every single bit of it. I loved their life. How Megan li loves to make breakfast, you know, for his her husband Harry, for Archie, for little Diana. And feed their dogs. Morisito, I loved that 100% to hear of that. Or that 100%. I love Megan's life in California. And like I always wish for them. May they always be happy. May they continue being happy. Harry and Megan have gone through a lot. They have gone through a lot. You know, when you exchange vows. There's that part that shall be with me in good times. And in bad times. Prince Harry and Megan have been together in bad time because they've endured so much at the hands of the uk press the royal family the farm the constant bullings and bullying and lies being spread about harry and megan they have been through a lot megan suffered a miscarriage lost you know her child a painful memory in their lives but through it all they have honored the vows they have made towards each other in sickness and in health in good times and in bad times Harry and Meghan have stuck together and now they're living out there happily ever after with their two beautiful kids, Archie and Libet Diana. My family, may God keep blessing. May God keep blessing, protecting Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie and Libet Diana and Doria Ragland and all of you members of the squad at home and kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever and may God bless each and every single one of you and thank you for hearing me out it means a lot to me to have you know you as a community i love your family and i thank you so much thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being a part of this family good shall always triumph over hate good will always triumph over hate the battle between good and evil shall continue until the end of time but good will always win Good will always triumph over evil. And kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. If God ever blesses you all, you know, to be, let's say, a parent. Do good. Be a good mom. Be a good dad. If, if you've had a bad upbringing, kindly be different. Be different by choosing to be good. Choose to be good. If you suffered, you know, due to having a bad parent or a bad mother or, you know, a bad dad, don't be the same. Be different if you are blessed to have kids. Be different. Be a good mom. Be a good dad to your kids. What I like about Prince Harry is that he said in the meal can see, that just because you are not going suffering does not mean you pass that suffering on to your children. You do things differently. You do things differently. And that's what Prince Harry has done. He has done things differently. He took his kids away from a toxic environment, away from a toxic environment, and takes care and loves his kids. And I love that about him so much. He's a good man, a good father to Archie and Lepidana, and a good husband to Megan. And as you've heard from Megan herself, 
Prince Harry helps her out a lot. Prince Harry helps her out a lot. My family, stay tuned to our next video. May they continue living happily ever after. May God bless each and every single one of you at home. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.